Hi there, my uh, precious viewers. Um, first of all, I want to say uh, have a happy new year, and then uh, it's my first video of 2017. And we're only a few days in the new year, and uh, I can already show some amazing things that are yet to come. Um, I had a lot of posts today, a lot of packages, and they include um, cocoons and pupa of uh, some never seen before species, so I will show you in this video. <coughs> first of all, I will show these tiny cocoons. Um, they're the Rocky Mountain Agapema. Maybe if you know the scientific name, it's Agapema homogena. And, um, well, as the name suggests, it is from the Rocky Mountains. I've actually never bred this species before, and the cocoons do have to overwinter until spring. And apparently they can't, uh, they can't uh, take uh, too harsh cold, so I will probably uh, overwinter them inside in my basement. <clears throat> and I hope they will wait for spring until they emerge. It's, uh, it was relatively expensive to get. So they are one of my more precious species. It's a very small Saturnid. It looks like Saturnia pavonia, but black. Next one. These, these, these are really, really, really interesting. What's uh, strange is um, these green things, they're actually Saturnid cocoons. Well, sorry, not cocoons, but pupa. And they're armed with very sharp spines. And... Um, the species here, it's uh, the Pseudantherea discrepans. Pseudantherea discrepans. And you'll have to Google that one. It's armed with sharp spines, as you can see. And what's unique is the green color of the pupa. For, for moth, uh, and especially for Saturnidae, it's extremely unusual to, to have these, these green and colored pupal shells, actually. And um, the reason for this adaptation is because uh, you can imagine um, most Saturnid pupa, they are hidden from plain view. They are not in plain view because they are hidden inside a cocoon or because they are burrowed underground, which uh, hides them from the sight of predators. But these moths are different because they, uh, the larvae spin a very thin web-like structure on the host plant or on the ground in a leaf litter and they will pupate there in plain view which means the pupa is very visible to predators so having camouflaged and colored pupa may actually be an advantage with uh, this crazy species it's uh, new and uh, I don't think many people have bred it well um, and they're really beautiful and really really unique well, I, I, call, I tend to call everything beautiful and unique and rare in my videos. Um, it's not an exa exaggeration. These are actually uh, one of the more remarkable species I'll be having this year. It's also my fascination, of course. To me, everything is beautiful and unique. So here we have something r strange going on. Let me show you. There's a pupa in there. Um, <clears throat> what these are... I I have no clue what this species is. Actually, they are wild cocoons, wild cocoons from Cameroon in Africa. And they have not been ID'd down to species level. I suspect that they are an agar moth, maybe, Lasiocampidae, or maybe Notodontidae. But it will be a complete surprise. As you can see, these are two cocoons spun together which suggests that the larvae live communal. It means they live in groups, which is a strong indicator of Notodontidae or Lasiocampidae. Very small, elongated pupa. I don't think they're Saturnidae. I don't think they're actually silk moths. Not emperor moths, at least. Last but not least, these are pupa, but I have yet to unpack them. They're packed. They just arrived. They are just uh, moth pupa. Here you see... A symbol, male, male, female, and here we have one of the pupa, it's um, Acanthobramaea europaea, yes, another scientific name, the European owl moth, it's uh, another rare endemic from uh, Europe, oops, I actually dropped that pupa, I'll pick it up soon, um, it's a very rare endemic uh, species with a very restricted range. It can only be found on one mountain uh, around the Monte Vulture, which is a volcano in Italy. And uh, that's it for now. I actually have one surprise at the end, because this was included. 
This was included in the shipment from Cameroon. It's one of my favorite Saturnid moths, but it's dead. It's Eudaimonia. Eudaimonia, which is a silk moth from Africa with um, remarkably long tails. It's not related to Luna Moth, as some people may think, because it has tails, but oops, I'm actually accidentally zooming in. Um, well, all my life I've been trying to get eggs from these, and, or cocoons, and uh, as of now it seems impossible to, uh, to breed them. But someday I will, I'm sure I will um, locate a source of pupa cocoons and breed them. But for now I have to do with dead ones. I don't collect dead insects by the way. I'm giving this one to a friend. Well that was it. Thank you for viewing. And until the next video.